Okay, what's up? We are back, people. So I did check the recording. Seems like it's a little bit low on the volume, so we're just gonna turn up uh, the voices a bit. Uh, sound effects down, music down a little bit. Um, and that should do it. Let's search the wharf. Clues of mother. Something about broken Some barrels, rope. wasn't it? Apparently no one's touched for a good long time. Rope? A lantern. Nothing special. Nothing special in the lantern. Can't go into the boat itself. Letters. Let's see what's hidden inside. Find a clue. Sure. So you can see on the bottom left, right, to use my logic um, skill here. First of all, because I even have the logic skill, it allows me to use it. Um, but it does cost me three points, which is fine. Ah, one of the letters is stamped with the seal of the order. And I recognize your handwriting anywhere, Mother. But who is this Samuel Ritter Doshua? Who are you writing to? I don't recognize the name. Let's Samuel see what's inside this letter. Doshua. So. Dear Samuel, my stay on Lord Mortimer's Island is going wonderfully well. As I find myself in such charming company, I plan to stay a few more weeks. Would you be so kind as to send me a gift that I'd like to give to our old friend Manuel Godoy? I would be most grateful. I have been told that he's going to join us here soon. I would like to mark the occasion. Thank you in mark advance. The occasion. Yours devotedly, Sarah Faustine de Richet. What is your game here, Mother? Secrets, always more secrets. You've never talked to anyone using language like this. Something's going on here. Who is this Samuel Ritter? And for crying out loud, who is this Manuel Godoy that you keep bringing up? Think, Godoy, Godoy, Manuel Godoy. Why does the name sound so familiar? Ah, oh, crap. I don't have enough. See, so because I'm not politically inclined, I can't remember who Godoy is. I'm guessing he's a man of Bolts. some importance. Spanish, I'd say. But just can't put a face to him. Well, hope we meet to talk about it soon, Mother. I don't yeah. know what you've gotten yourself into too, this too. time, but I'll bet you've got a lot to tell me. Cool. So we can actually look at the letter. Oh, no, we can't. But, you know, we got it in our inventory. Let's check the recipes. Let's see what's hidden inside. Any more logic clues? Let's look. Nope. Wow, was that's a lot. Maybe it'll Address give us some 50 clues Bedford Square on London. the other guests. It's too badly written. I, I can't make out the address. What? That's ridiculous. Idiograms. Hmm. A letter written in an oriental language. Oh, crappers. <laughs> Dude, our guy may be street smart, says. but buddy, you gotta go get some oriental education. The dress is in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Sao Paulo, that Brazil. reminds me, it's about time the order sent some envoys there. Okay. Oh, crap. No. I didn't mean to click Address that. Address is 50 Bedford Square, London. I want to search the other letters. Okay. An address in Cairo, Egypt. Egypt. Mortimer communicates with the whole world, apparently. Mm -hmm. Mr. P.V. Hoven. Probably a Dutchman. That's it, dude. You're a detective. Come on. This envelope is meant for the Vatican. Oh, gosh. This name sounds familiar. My detective hush, skill. Hush. No. Can't seem to place it. Allowed me to do what? Go back to the first letters, that's it. Well, my detective skills Let's see what's hidden inside. I again. Allow me to do what? Basically look at one of the letters. Wow, good job, dude. I shouldn't be so skeptical. My guy is a cool dude. Alright, let's get going. Mr. Dirichet. 
Anything here? No, no, no. I think we searched this area pretty well. Let's go down this part. Ah, more of those barrels. What's this? This is Thursday. Oh, collector's coins. Okay, so you see, I used three effort points, right, to do my detectiving uh, by the letterbox. I can use one of my honeys, royal jellies in the bottom left, to restore two of those. Nice. And, aha, uh -huh, what do we have here? More jelly. Very nice. And what's this? A wooden floorboard. Oh, yes. That's right. Judging by the splinters of the wood, this floorboard has been ripped up. Yet it was in decent condition. I wonder why someone ripped it up. What's the point of doing this? probably comes from this part of the wharf. The wood is slightly eaten away, of course, but it still would have been fine if it weren't smashed. Judging by the splinters of the wood, this floorboard has been ripped up. Yet it was in decent condition. I wonder why someone ripped it up. What's the point of doing ripped this? Ripped up board that comes from this part of the wharf. Wood is slightly rotten away eaten away by rot or whatever basically not in the best condition and it's just lying there we need to solve this case aha uh -huh, a gate a locked gate open the gate duh come on man locked i'll never get it open barehanded ooh, ooh i could pick the lock if I was sneaky enough. If not, we going in loud, boys. Yeah, bust up. Clearly, I'm not much for manual labor. Let's see if I can get it open another way. What? Oh, yeah. Give me that. Give me that agility. Come on, man. Yeah. Oh, yes. There we are. It looked like you just didn't try enough. You know, hard enough the first time around, man. Come on. Interesting, though. Let's take a look. Nothing on this wall. There's a lot of broken barrels here. Remember what the servant said? Oh, hello. This looks like a pistol case, <gasps> but it's empty. Remember that? I don't think this has anything to do with you, mother, but if it does, at least now you're armed. Just like in my vision. And none of oh, it's telling me anything useful. <laughs> None of it's telling me anything useful. Got more jelly. Hmm, this wharf is used as storage for a lot of barrels. Uh-huh. What have we here? It's cannon powder. No, I need science. Crap. Hmm, it's unusable now. I don't know what the person who left this barrel like this had in mind, but it's a waste. Apparently, someone on this island has gone through a whole lot of trouble to arm themselves. I really... Amber fragments. You just found an amber fragment. Get four of them, you increase your maximum effort points by one. Oh, yes. Amber. Amber. We need three more to go with them. So, cannon powder, a pistol... Yeah, somebody wants to make things go boom boom. Okay. So I think we finished searching everything there already. I hope I didn't miss anything. This left side is suspiciously bare though. I'm spamming my click button. <laughs> That's how you be a good detective. You just. Use the game mechanics. Oh yeah. Okay. So I think we're done here. Whoa. Sorry. There's a little bit. Of... Oh, hello. What's this? Wait a second. Hey. There's something not right about this floorboard. It's different from the rest. Uh, let's examine. Somebody replaced first. it recently. But it looks like it's fixed pretty solidly in place. It's going to be tough to rip it out of here. 
Oh yeah? What if I use my trusty, rusty iron bar? Oh yeah. That that's... does it. Let's see what's hidden inside. There's a book and also a bag. With a hair comb inside. The Mysterium Cosmographicum. I know that book well. Mother used to read passages from it to me all the time. And judging from what I can see, it's the same one as hers. Sounds like good bedtime Crying reading. out loud. What's happened to you, Mother? Maybe there's a message inside. Manuscripts? Cool. Yeah, so you can read books and gain skills. That is awesome. Let's look inside the bag. A little food, a few toiletries, a small key, and some kind of black powder. What the? Some fruit, a piece of bacon, and some bread. The fruit's still firm. The bread's a bit stale. From the smell, this food's been here roughly two days. And if it's rationed, there's enough left to last two more days. Hmm. An iron key completely rusted. Completely rusted. Ah, oh, should I take the key? But this, it feels like it was left behind by the mother. You know what? I'm sorry, mother, but... If you had to hide it like this, on the wharf... It's a pretty good place to come back, right? You have access by water... But the mansion, like he said, you can see everything from miles away... Oh, let's finish looking at the rest I'd of the stuff. I'd rather leave it all as it is. Shit! Those are definitely my mother's things. I recognize her hairpins. This bag smells of her perfume, a piece of soap, some oils, and her powder puff. What does all this mean? The bottom of the bag is covered in black powder. And judging by its consistency, it's the same type of powder that I found earlier. This just gets better and better. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. What if I take the bag and then... You know, when my mom needs it, and then... <sighs> I've got to do it. I've got to take the right. bag. Right. Just in case, I'll take it all. I'll give it back to Mother when I see her. Which I hope is soon, my friend. So, let's go through this. My mother's been hiding pieces of... between the rotten boards of the wharf in the middle of the night. But that's not normal. And if that weren't enough, Looks now like she's armed. Meanwhile, she also takes the time to send out letters, reassuring whoever might be interested that she's having a fabulous time here. So odd. So very odd. And that's not even all I've noticed. But maybe I ought to move on to the manor now. They'll be waiting for me. At least I hope so. I want to look for more clues, man. That's a lot of stuff we covered. We got book, skill point in psychology, skill point in science, man, uh, is that it, are we done looking for clues, I mean, you know, after we opened up that barrel, I think that's what allowed us to actually then observe the things on the floor, uh, the floorboard on the floor, so I just want to take a second look and see if we uncovered anything new, really doesn't look like it. Those are the letters from just now. Unless someone snuck off a letter while we were busy <laughs> by the barrel. Which I don't think is the case. Alright, up to the manor then. What's this? Hello? A Latin inscription. An nesis. Mi fili quantilia produncia mundus orgatur. <laughs> Latin. Easy to translate. Unable to translate it. Uh, Mamma mia. How does translating in text require occultism? I guess it's a dead language, right? That's what they say. Perhaps, perhaps. In any case. Our guy's real good at roughhousing it. Man, it's a little too rough around the edges. 
gotta become a bit more holistic. How did my Mortimer manage to build his manor at the top of a rocky outcrop? Yeah, good question, dude. on your guess. There's another. Whoa. Impressive. Ah, my son. I was looking for you. What can I do for you, your eminence? I wanted to ask you. You are the son of Sada De Vice, aren't you? Oh, yes. You see, your mother and I were supposed to meet here on this very spot. I was supposed to hand her a very important envelope, but I haven't seen her. If only Mother had told me why she was coming here. Anyway, I ought to take the envelope. It might have something to do with her disappearance. Listen, if it will help, you can always give it to me. Mm-hmm. Well, I'll be as persuasive as possible. Right. So we need to get him to give us Thank that letter, son. but we can only uh, bear that in mind. <laughs> I'd mistakes. rather deal Three with her directly. Don't take it personally. Would you happen to know if your mother has arrived yet? Uh, I think that would probably be a blunder. So certainly, Your Eminence. Mother got here some time ago. I was hoping to find her when I arrived, but. Given the hour, she must be asleep by now. Right. I shall see her tomorrow, then. By the way, Your Eminence, I wasn't aware you knew my mother. Ah, if you only knew, my son, I hold your mother in the highest regard. She has rendered great service to the Church, and her help is invaluable. I hope that you will follow in her footsteps. If so? only she had told me. Yeah, the music's a little bit loud still. where she was headed. Nonetheless, our exchanges have always been discreet, and I should like them to discreet. remain as such. If your mother wishes to speak to you about us one day, I will not mind if she does so. That is very commendable. But since we work together on a daily basis, it's, it's surely just an oversight. Most certain. Most you certain. said you work together. What do you do exactly? Uh, wow, that's really forward. Yeah. I mean, he knows that the mother helps him out, right? So. My mother and I belong to the same secret organization, the Golden Order, which I joined a few years ago. Mother trained me, and I assist in her research. In other words, it. you can trust me. <laughs> My child, you are telling a perfect stranger that you and your mother work for a secret society. It would seem that discretion is not one of your specialities, my oh, son. Crap. You will understand that it does not encourage me to put my trust in you. Oh, crap. shit. All the same, it bothers me to see you in a quandary, Your Eminence. Is there any other solution? All the same. Look, if it's of any help, you can always leave your envelope with me, and I'll give it to her as soon as I see her. Ah, uh, I uh, hesitate. Up till now, we have always dealt with her in person, and that has always been successful. Do you think I should give it to you? Yes, Piagi, I'm your man. Uh, yeah, you can count on me, dude. Don't worry, Your Eminence. Your secret is safe with me. You know my mother's reputation. 
As her son, I will defend the Derishe's word with the same fervor. Ah, I would expect nothing less. Listen to me, my child. If I give you the letter, can you promise me before God that no one other than your mother will read it? Confrontations last them. You must convince the person you're talking to by giving a positive answer. If you give a bad answer, you'll still get to try again, but it will cost you a blunder. Okay. <laughs> How is that a good answer? How is that a good answer either? Okay, no worries. Oh, my guy has not really got a lot of options. I swear by the almighty God to honor the promise that no one but my mother shall cast her gaze upon your letter. Good. Listen, let's stop there. I'm going to tell you a secret, Monsieur Derichet. I got reliable. Oh, yeah, dude. I got the Piaggy letter. Your mother and I are organizing the escape of a large number of French priests who face a massacre organized by the accursed Republican tribunals. The church is literally being bled like a beast. Without your mother, hundreds of men in the cloth would have gone to the guillotine. She has made the services of your order available to us by organizing the priest's safe passage across the borders. Even if she does not share all our convictions, she always provided assistance. Young man, you can be proud to be her son. Be it only for her sake. Always respect your name. Here, the letter I spoke of. It includes a list of about 15 names ready for departure. Be quick. Remember to tell Sarah when you see her that time is short. Well played. I'll decide later when I'm alone whether to look at what it contains. <laughs> oh, baby. That's right. All right. We got the letter. Good job, Louis. Now it's time for us to go find more clues. Got the sealed letter. I'll see if I want to open it once I get to my room. Yeah, let's just betray his trust. Saturn devouring his son. Oh, gosh. Good God, how awful. Yes. Everything in this painting is disturbing. Crucifixion of St. Peter. He was crucified upside, upside down, down out of humility. Surprising for an entrance hall. Tough for an entrance hall. Humility, good one. I've just arrived. It might be bad manners to go upstairs without being invited. Outside. Lord Mortimer certainly has a taste for staging rooms. Blind Oedipus. Blinded himself. What a tragic destiny. Fall of the Damned by Rubens. The man who cannot achieve the salvation of God the Father is offered to fall into the depths of the abyss. I'm biblical. Uh huh. Right, so this gives us extra perception. So if you remember our chat with uh, Emily, Duchess, aka Sexy Lady, uh, we discovered she has an immunity to logic. So, uh, you know, you can review the character... Where's the... Right here. You can see her immunity to logic, but let's say that I get into a conversation with her again and I forget. I'm not sure if you can access the menu in the midst of your conversation, but you can then use the Devil's Thorn to reveal it. And ooh, what's that? Lives of the Noble Greeks and Romans by Plutarch, a biography of the great men. Oh, flip through it. Flip through it. What? How hard is it to flip through a book? You don't need any skill to flip through a book. We can just take it. Oh. <laughs> hey, we just got a book. One point in conviction. That's remember, that's not the whole skill, right? Where's my character? But it does give us like one of the segments. So we're close to getting manipulation up. If we find, you know, one other thing that gives me a skill point, we'll get that unlocked. Um, yeah. 
Oops, sorry. I thought my chimney was big, but this one is beyond belief. It's the least one can say. I've been longing for a warm fire for ages. Where Since I set foot on the island, I haven't ventured more than two yards away from it. Have you also just arrived? Oh, late morning, I'd say. Louis, come join us. Monsieur, may I introduce you to Monseigneur His Eminence, Cardinal Piaggi? He joins hey, us straight from turn. Rome. Oh, just call me Your Eminence. <laughs> it's simple. Oh, just George call Washington, me your eminence. President of the United States of America. Delighted at last to make your acquaintance, Mr. President. Pleased to meet you, Mr. President. Louis Moras de Richet. Wow. It is an honor to meet you. Young man, let's keep it simple, please. Let us forget our fancy titles. Nice to meet you, Louis. Nice I should you. imagine you never thought you'd be in such company. I must admit that I didn't. It's the first time that I've ever met so many illustrious personalities. And you haven't seen anything yet. Generally, when Lord Mortimer organizes one of his receptions, there are over a dozen people here. They can't all be here yet. And you'll see, most of the time, there's only the upper crust. And I noticed you were already getting to know his eminence at the entrance. Oh, it's the perfect place to build up a network. What were you talking about, if you forgive my indiscretion? Mind your own business, dude. Oh, about a letter. Let's be real discreet about that. So you can see some options are locked out. At ah. the risk of disappointing you, we weren't conspiring in our corner, sir. His eminence was simply telling me that he knew my mother and how much he held her in high esteem. It so happens that Monsieur de Riche's mother is to join us. Oh, pity. No scrumptious gossip or juicy tidbits, <laughs> unmentionable secrets, or even money matters. But you'll see, it will come. Despite all the goodwill in the world, you can't stop people scheming left and right around oh, here. Speak for yourself, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Well, my friends, do any of you know the reason why we're here this time? Not in the slightest. He speaks As for me, truth. I've been invited by Sir Holm, a close friend of Lord Mortimer, but uh, I do not know the reason why. You see, Louis, every time Lord Mortimer organizes a reception, he always finds a moment to set up a chat with all the guests. During which time we remake the world. Accompanied by gallons of absinthe and cussing, I'll leave you to imagine the result. Whoa, so, there. if I understand rightly, Monsieur de Richet, you've come out here to join your mother. For what reason, exactly? Um, uh, wow, we can't let people know she's gone missing, though. Well, uh, invent Like you, Mr. President, I'm here as a result of Lord Mortimer's invitation. Two members of the same family here. That is rare. You know what they say, you can pick your nose, but you can't pick your family. <laughs> <laughs> what a charmer. Seriously, though, I know your mother well. Stay behind with me afterwards, and we'll take a moment to speak about her. Oh. -ho. Got it. Good lord. Washington is wearing the emblem of the Grand Master of the Golden Order. It's the highest distinction of the order in the United States. It puts him on par with my mother. He must really know his stuff when it comes to the occult. Good evening, my friends. Holy shit. That's the man for my vision. An urgent case has delayed our host, Lord Mortimer. He can't be present this evening, and he sends his deepest apologies. He's asked me here, and he hasn't even turned up? <laughs> Great start. Do you know that man? Sir Gregory Holm, an English aristocrat, very influential. He's also close to Lord Mortimer. So don't be surprised if he acts like he's at home. And now, my dear guests, a light meal is served in the small salon. For those who would like to, you're invited to follow me into the next room. My dear fellow, you must have read my thoughts. I shall follow. We'll have to be careful not to make too much noise. One of Lord Mortimer's guests is relaxing. Oh, we shall be quiet. Don't take it the wrong way, Sir Holm, but I have already eaten. Thus, I shall be happy to remain by the fireside. 
If you don't mind, Gregory, I should like to keep Mr. Washington company. Please feel at home. And you, sir? If I stay with Washington, we'll be able to speak about my mother. Oh, but yes. on the other hand, I'd like to learn more about this home. I saw him in my Cold vision. This guy is creepy, man. We're gonna hang out with the big man himself. The we'll Grand Master. Has to Grand say. Daddy. Sir, if you don't mind, I shall stay here. Do exactly as you please, young man. <laughs> Sounds just slightly oui, thank assiduous. You for I'm not even sure just I'm like you, word when I arrived this morning, I found out that Sarah had gone missing. I know your mother well. Don't worry. Emily is from the English branch of the Golden Order. And President Washington is in fact the leader of the Order in the United States. I, I didn't know. Sorry to have made you wait, but I didn't want to speak in front of the others. You Th did well. Secrecy and discretion hey. are the pillars of our organization. If I can help in no any way at here. all, please don't hesitate to ask, my lad. And if you have any other questions, now's the time. Maybe he'll answer both, but I think it's more important. Mother has always points. had a fascination for Lord Mortimer, but has never wanted to tell me why. Lord Mortimer is a remarkable man. He's wealthy and is advisor to the very highly placed. Your mother is the head of the order in France. It doesn't surprise me that he asked her to come. Lord Mortimer greatly contributed to financing my electoral campaign, for example. But, oh. I want this to be clear, without ever seeking to gain an advantage. And that is to his credit. Yes, you can trust him. He will do everything in his power to help you find Sarah. Mr. Washington, you seem to be very familiar with my mother. Mm-hmm. Can't ask Emily about how she knows our mom. That's a bit unfortunate, but that's okay. When did he see her for the last time? How did he come to know her? I mean, she's famous, right? It seems to be every time we ask people, how do you know my mom? They just say she's famous, so let's not do that. When did you last speak to her? Philadelphia. Oh, this guy. 15 years ago. Right, right, right. Yes, Sarah no, often went back and forth between France and the United States. Yes, I remember those days. I didn't see her too often. Right. Would it be too much if I asked you a few more questions? Not at all. Go ahead. But I can't promise I'll remember everything. May I ask, when you saw each other, what did you talk about? Ah, oh, man, again, politics. My mother has always been fascinated by strange powers. Did she talk to you about anything like that? Yes. Her facility for discerning truths from rumor served me well. Such as preventing massacres, like the one at Salem, from happening again. Or convincing people that horsemen cannot ride around without heads. <laughs> what was it that she used to Same say now? Keep an open and logical mind? Yes, that's it. Thank you, sir. I was hoping to speak with Lord Mortimer. At least now I have some information, thanks to you. I repeat, Lord Mortimer is a man of his word. You won't be disappointed. And I am persuaded that your mother's research is his main concern. Ooh, this is a tough one. Let's call in the cavalry. Mother still is at the head of the Golden Order. I find it difficult to believe that she came to this island without notifying the other members. As for myself, I did not know. I am here at the request of Sir Holm, a situation regarding the Crown of England to resolve, and to see what Lord Mortimer has to propose to us. As for me, Lord Mortimer asked me here to speak about the future of America. I did not know that your mother would even be among us. In any case, no one has yet mentioned associating the Order. We haven't found many clues yet. Come on, we're a mysterious Order. I think we can trust these people. But I did find a book. Oh, inquisitive. What do we get here? It belongs okay, to my mother. Okay, okay, yes. Where did you find it? That's what worries me. I found it hidden on the wharf. 
Do you think she was preparing to discreetly leave? I don't know. An extremely likely proposition. I'll believe it when I see it. <laughs> don't worry, Louis. I'm sure nothing bad has happened to her. Yes, I, I hope not. Careful, they're coming back. Well, I am impressed with all this splendor. But don't spend too much time with Mr. Washington, my dear, or you'll lose your pretty accent. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to be intrigued by that statue. Absolutely. It is remarkable. Lord so Mortimer is fond of atypical works of art. I won't disguise the fact that I find it all a little megalomaniacal. <laughs> but I must say, he does have some outstanding pieces. Sir so, Holm, who was that young what? lady with you? Oh, Elizabeth Adams, Mr. Like President. That. She would have liked to have stayed with us, but the poor thing is exhausting. Elizabeth Adams? Go, 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 go. Yes. Just mentioning Elizabeth totally changed Washington's attitude. Looks like he just saw a ghost. Miss Adams is here to rest. You have perhaps already come across her in the corridors. She arrived a few days ago. I perceived her, but we weren't introduced. Rest assured, she is not here for the same reasons as yourselves. Consequently, I'm counting on your indulgence. Oh, okay, okay, go. Cool. Washington looks surprised, but Holm doesn't seem to see it. I wonder if he's being polite or if he really doesn't see his discomfort. <laughs> On that note, it's very late. Our guy is just exhausted. Like, seriously staring the at everybody. The servant will accompany you to your room. Nobody notices anything. Dude, this guy in his mask is just plain creepy, man. Okay, okay, okay. So, we may not have been the smoothest talker in the neighborhood, but our observational skills served us well. Ladies, gentlemen, I bid There's you all good night. Lead. Mr. Okay. President, yeah. Your Eminence, Duchess. You have the same rooms as usual. You, Monsieur de Richet, will find your room at the end of the corridor. Okie dokie. Well, my friends, I am bone tired. Bone tired. I am off to my bed. Oh. See you in the morning. Good night, sir. I shall do likewise. Louis, I shall see you in the morning. Sleep well. Oh, Good hairs. night. See you tomorrow. Very fancy. Oh, man. It's been quite a day. Right. Are you, are you bone Where tired too? Let's check out this place. Gonna get me some clues, yo. Alright, let me go back down. Come on, come on. But there are some tasty clues left behind. It's fast. Oh, something here. Coins. Anything here? Nope. Ha. Duchess Emily Hillsborough. Go into the ladies' room at night? You crazy, my man? Come on, control yourself, dude. How about this? Monsieur Napoleon Bonaparte. Napoleon Bonaparte is here. Monsieur Jacques Peru? Jacques Peru. No idea who that is. Maybe I'm the one that needs a history lesson. Oh, hello. Hmm. Can't open that. Something here. A few leaves out of an old encyclopedia. Encyclopedia? This one then. Aha, uh -huh. well, this one gives me one point in each. But I need the other two pages. 150 academics and scholars contributed to the production of this first synthesis of human knowledge. Wow. That is more impressive than anything I've read in school. Golden elixirs. Curious your negative alterations. You'll see what those negative alterations are a little later down the road. Uh, anything here? Just a bunch of plants. Cool beans. Oh, hello. The Quorum Guide. The Quorum Guide. Rules of civil to civility and decent behavior. Written in 1618. Ah, to go back to those good old days. Let's take a look at our dude. 
Right, so we, we can't equip the books just yet, I think. So we're not getting the benefits from any of those books just yet. But uh, I think we can equip them later. Paintings. Dressers. Chandelier. Come on, detective time, boy. Detective time. Devil's Thorn. Good stuff, good stuff. Anything here on this table? No. Let me go up this level. So no. Fireplace, somebody's been burning hidden messages. Yeah, get it. Nothing. What's this? Hmm. Unknown room. No name. Mysterious. Very mysterious. Hello. Monsieur Johann von Wohner. Von Wohner. Do not recognize. Clock. Sofa. Oh, we found a coin. Still haven't figured out what those coins do. Ah, is there something back there? Thought I saw a glimmer like another coin, but it doesn't look like it. this another unknown room more decorations nothing of use to us president george washington huh george washington our grandmaster friend book book take the book no we can't take the book sloppy people just leaving their books lying around is this also another unnamed room? Great, honey. Mmm, honey. Oh wait, is that something there? Another coin. Whose room is this? Monsignor, His Eminence Cardinal Piaggi. Ah, Piaggi, aka Turtle Man. What's up, man? This is my room, isn't it? Huh, that's me. Okay. Before we go in, let's finish walking down this corridor. Who's here? Duke Manuel Godoy. Godoy. Hey, that guy was in uh, one of the letters. Yes, one of the letters. Duchess Emily Hillsborough. Okay, we've walked one round, so let's go to our room. Fancy. Right. So what shall I do with this letter? It might be about my mother's disappearance. But if I open it, I'll be betraying Biagi's trust. What should I do? Open the letter without breaking the seal. No, we're not sneaky enough. I'm gonna unseal the letter. Okay. Let's see what it contains. Too bad for Biaggi. <laughs> Too bad for Biaggi. So, it really is a list of French countrymen. Piaggi wasn't lying. But now it's opened. I better get it to Mother soon. Crap. Of course Piaggi wouldn't lie. Man. Wow. Nice room. Mortimer sure doesn't do things halfway. How would you open the letter without... Oh, hello. Amber crystals. Amber crystals. That's what I get for being agile, baby. I can reach stuff high up. Oh, hello. Balcony. Oh, that's a pleasant sight to see at night. Somebody else's room. Hmm. What else can we find out here? Books? Again, so sloppy by these guests. Oh, there's a lot of stuff up here. Carmelite effort. Carmelite water. Effort, kind of like water. So, no effort required on next skill use. Very good. Ooh, fancy. Okay, very cool. 
scenery. Wine. Oh, what's that? Coin. No coins. More coins. Let's go back into our room. Inferno by, Dante. Inferno by Dante. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. Yikes. Lovely lectures Mortimer is giving to his guests. Very jolly. Hmm. More Carmelite water. Saint Jerome and the end. Judith beheading Holofernes. I rock Saturn devouring his son. Ugh, this again? again? I saw the same. Saint Francis of Assisi. The conversion of Saint Paul by Caravaggio. It's incredible. Something it doesn't here. look like a copy, but hey, a Russian ruble. I wonder what it would be worth today. Russian ruble. Wow. So it looks like we've gotten everything in this room. Oh, something here. Dang it. A lockbox. Subterfuge. St. Required. Francis of Assisi and Ecstasy. A lot of paintings. Man. Before superior voices. It always amuses me to see how art gets used for propaganda purposes. Oh baby, the more you know, art and propaganda. Wow, this room is fancy schmancy. It's got a living space and then the bed space. Alright, go to sleep, you bone tired boy. We didn't fail anything. Nice. I could have made an unexpected encounter. And I could have joined Sir Holm in the small salon. I know about the Sir Holm salon. But when did I have the chance to make an unexpected encounter? I'm really not sure. Okay. But that's fine. Oh yeah, give that XP here. So this is this is the part that I really like. Once you level up, and also right, the fact that if you find more things, um, you know, in the level, for example, items, or you uh, reveal more character traits, say by being observant, our guy is very observant you get more xp which then translates to you leveling up faster and then we get more points all right so m initially i was gonna say we just feed everything into one path to make it really cheap but now that i think about it if leveling up just gives you reduction in cost, if you have a lot of honey, like the royal jelly to restore points, then it's better to have more options available. Even though you saw we, we got by in that conversation with Piagi, right? We made one mistake, but we still had a couple of tries left. So, use to formulate flattery or veiled insults. Politics that could have helped out. We could finish manipulation, finish occultism. Um, but I feel like our guy, in terms of gathering information, he is a little lacking. You know, these three I think really help you gain information, uh, linguistics as well. But we seem to be making up in that department like gathering information by like our vigilance our psychology our questioning like people in terms of relation to people and gaining access to new areas we're doing pretty good but in conversation we do have this which is good but i think this will be necessary and then since we only have one point left i think we can put it into Oh, you know what? Hang on. 
Do we have one point in manipulation? No, we don't. So we can just put our last couple here. Okay, so we're going to be able to at least have a couple more options when we talk to people and not just like observe them. Our conversation is going to be a lot better now. Still going to cost a lot. Three points, you know, for some of the options. Like you remember even just like checking the letter costs us three points. Everything is still level one, so it's going to be pretty expensive, but we do have more options. So let's go with that. Boom. Here you can choose what to read. Each manuscript you read confers skill points at the end of the quest. Wait, at the end of the quest? One skill point, psychology, uh, conviction, etiquette. Oh, I can't use that yet. And science. Etiquette, one point. Science in one, psychology in another. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like science stuff would be good, but etiquette is also probably good. It doesn't remember. It doesn't give us the whole thing. It just gives us one point. So then we're depending on what else we pick up in the course of the adventure, I think. But then it's also strange because it says you get it at the end of the adventure. You know what? We're gonna go with science. Would do that. do that. So did we get the point? No, we did already get the point. Okay. So I guess what they mean is at the end of this portion. Like, yeah, before the start of the next part. Whoa! Okay. So, before we move on to the next part, we're gonna take a break here. This is a great point to stop. And I hope you guys enjoyed so far this playthrough. Um, I'm having a lot of fun even though, you know, uh, I've played through it already once before because that's the thing about a narrative story driven game, right? Uh, you can choose differently. Um, and not only can you choose differently in this game, right? Which you can do in a lot of other different narrative games, but you can also build differently. And that's also opening up a lot more options and closing off a lot more options. So. Uh, it's exciting. I'm trying not to think too far ahead to certain circumstances I encountered in the first playthrough and kind of, you know, uh, prepare beforehand before those, uh, for those. Um, so I'm not going to spoil anything, but uh, all that said, hope you guys enjoyed this playthrough and we'll definitely be back for part two. So thank you guys for watching and catch you next time. Bye bye.